Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, Editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to our weekly news roundup. The new CEO for Treasury Wine Estates, Tim Ford, who's been in the seat since the beginning of the month, had the unenviable position at the end of last week to announce a 21% profit downgrade for the company. They also walked away from their 2021 forecasts and revealed how, just how hard they had been hit, particularly in their Chinese market uh, regarding COVID-19. In, in February and March of this year, they had a 50% depletions in that Chinese market. Um, they also announced that organisational and operational restructures in their US market had been completed. These were instigated after earlier in the year uh, the revelation that the US market had really suffered badly and resulted in $3 billion being written, um, written off the company's value and also a 40% stock uh, price drop. So it also brought about uh, a, a, in, an organisation-wide review which drove the proposal for the demerger between Penfolds and Treasury Wines. Uh, Ford said that that is still the preferred option and they're looking at the end of 2021 for that to have happened. Uh, earlier this week, President of the National Farmers Federation, Fiona Simpson, launched a new strategy to keep Australia growing at the National Press Club. Of particular interest, interest to our sector, she really called for the reinvigoration of manufacturing, food manufacturing in regional centres. One of the things she really called on is for governments of all levels to put in place uh, more effective uh, government initiatives to see that happen. One of the other things that they're really calling on is for more regulate, for greater regulated standards for the organic sector. For the industry body uh, Organics Australia, CEO Nikki Ford, she said that this is the first time in 27 years that the NFF, the federal government and the industry have all been on the same page in terms of getting that consistency of regulations across the, across the market. Uh, also this week, Diageo announced a new sustainability initiative. It's doing a partnership with Pilot Light and they've created a new company called Pulpex Limited. The first, it's a, a sustainable packaging technology company and the first uh, product to come from that is a 100% plastic free paper-based spirits bottle. We're going to be seeing that on the Johnny Walker Black Label Whiskey first, uh, so that will be interesting. But what is far more exciting, I guess, is that Polpex is seeing non-competing FMCGs coming together to work on these technologies and find much more sustainable packaging solutions. And uh, when I was talking to the Head of Sustainability at Mars Foods earlier in the year, he was saying to me, that this is now happening more often, where, where companies you would never imagine sitting across the table from each other are for much uh, for a bigger purpose, I guess. So with that little feel-good uh, story, I'm Kim Berry. Head to the website for all of the latest news and to sign up for our newsletters. This week we've been brought to you by Food Mac, and with that, over and out.